How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to another video. This video is going to be a quick refresher on one of my other videos that I have done where I show you the navigation of the Twitch creators dashboard. Now, when you go to the creator dashboard or to, to get to that, like if you go to your settings and everything like that, um, here, I'll show you guys. So we go back to Twitch and everything. If you go here where it says the creator's dashboard and you click on it, it's going to instantly bring you to this. Now, in my last video that I covered something similar to this to keep, to kind of teach you guys about the navigation for it, it was a little bit different. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because someone did comment on that video and said that, hey, it looks different. So I want to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of an update. So, so this is what your new stream manager is going to look like. So over here on the top left corner, you have your menu system here. It's going to be a drop down. It's going to hide away whenever you click it away and everything like that. Over here, it's going to show your activity feed. Quick actions is going to be stuff that you'll be able to get to just by the click of your mouse and everything like that. Down here is your stream preview. Up at the top here, I have these turned off, but these are going to be basically hidden from you you can unhide them if you want to just by you know clicking on them and stuff like that i just have them hidden for this video here it's not important information to display and then over here is going to be your chat of course so that way you'll be able to see all that and then you have your notifications you have creator updates so whenever they have some updates here you can check it out and then if you need any help or if you want to see your whispers or if you need to either go back to Twitch or anything like that, you can go ahead and do that. You can also make this to be dark mode or night, or sorry, um, dark mode or light mode, sorry. And then everything else is pretty much self-explanatory with your chat too. Now, if you want to kind of move things around, you can do that as well. So if you want to take this guy and move him over here, you can do that. So now you have that like that. So it's completely customizable for all of these. You can even... Choose what you want to display for your activity feed or for your chat. You can pop it out or you can see the users in your chat. You know, you still have all access to all of your channel points or your emotes or being able to see your chat settings and everything like that. So you have all of that stuff still available for you. It's just all kind of in this one spot. And now for your quick actions, if you want to edit your quick actions, you can do that too. And you can kind of move them around by kind of holding on to this right here. And you can deselect some and delete them. So like if you didn't want to have your Twitter timeline, you can click on it and then click on delete and it gets rid of it. Now, through these different areas, you're going to have different stuff like your insights. So you'll be able to see all your analytics and your achievements and everything like that. We're not going to go over there. That's, that's information you guys don't need to see. But for community, you'll be able to see like your roles for the managers and stuff like that. So you'll be able to give people VIP status and see who all your mods are and everything like that. You could see your activity, you know, you can also go to your channel points and you can customize your channel points if you need to and everything. So they kind of just kind of moved things around and I don't know. I, I kind of liked the older version of the creator's dashboard. I mean, everything is still good to kind of have the way they have it laid out. So like your video producer, whenever you upload videos, your collections are like your playlists. You can see all your clips that you've made or people have made of your stuff. For your preferences, this is going to be for your moderation. So everything here from rules that you want to have whenever it comes up there, email verifications, having different types of like blocked terms and everything for your channel here. You got your stream key and all your other type of information. If you need to have your background banner and everything for raids and everything like that. So it's not like things are completely just moved around and you don't know what they are. Like everything's laid out pretty well. It's just they're in small little individual drop down menus, extensions, same thing, you know, you can see your extensions, you can search for extensions, but in terms of like how they were on the original video or on the original creator's dashboard, it's still pretty much the same. 
your streaming tools if you ever need to find certain things like if you guys want to try to use Twitch Studio which I have videos on about Twitch Studio or if you're just trying to find different software that you want to try you know all that stuff's right here and then for the creators camp which brings you to a separate website this is going to help you guys kind of understand the basics of streaming and how to connect and engage with your channel and your community and just give you some really helpful tips as a streamer. Sometimes it's really good to go through these as refreshers because we sometimes forget some of these things. But that is really all this really is. And I've used this back when it was in beta and stuff like that. I just didn't know when they were going to like bring it out for everybody to use or force everyone to use it. But it's not too bad. Everything's in one place and it just it does make it a lot easier. I just kind of like the old style a little bit more. But the more you kind of mess with this, you get more familiar with it and it's not too bad. But if you guys have any questions about this or if there's anything I missed, feel free to go ahead and let's talk about it in the comments. And if you guys are wanting to learn more about streaming, feel free to go ahead and take a look at the other content on the channel. Check out those videos. If you're enjoying it, be sure to subscribe and follow me also over on Twitch. I'll see you guys in the next video or in the next live stream. And thank you so much for watching.